to the business point two point uh, oh. I'm really excited about this show, man. Uh, I'm really, really excited about this show because I got a, a, a guy on here that I consider um, like lyrically and, and just to, you know, just my man is, I'm in a loss of words right now and that's very rare, but you know, I really appreciate his artistry. You know, I really appreciate his artistry. And, uh, you know, he a real, he a long um, comrade of mine, long time comrade. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of bring him out so everybody can really, you know, know his backstory and uh, really get to know this cat on a more personal level. I'm talking about the one and only Sign Solo. Welcome to the show, baby. Yo, my man, J.E., James Eternal. Uh where I first met you and still with the J and the E in it is yeah. the James and the Irv, you know? So, so the backstory on that is, you know, of course we was in class together, went to school yeah. together at Northeastern. This, this go to elementary, not middle school, not high school, yeah. elementary school, elementary, man. you know? And so, uh, and, and you always being a grade above me, you know, cats look up to the cats that's older to them. So, you know, you look up to a cat and, uh, and, and, and you had game and, and, and I don't know if people know, I don't know if this is public knowledge that uh, they used to call you magic over there. You know what I'm saying? Little something, something, little something, something. Yeah, you, you had a little game. Yeah, so, so let's go way back. Like, this ain't nothing new. We just started doing music last mm -hmm. year. So, like, like you know, like, this is more than just like, oh, oh, you got a show, let me get on. And this is like a brotherhood, a friendship. Yeah, it's it's like uh, 35, 40 years. What? At least, at least right here. Yeah. We're right there rocking in that, that, that four decade mark, man. And like I said, I'm just, you know, excited. I, first of all, man, thank you for the, for, for your, your brother, your brotherhood. And you know what I'm saying? And like, we always, you know, it's always been, we, time can go by and it's always been thick. You know what I'm saying? Like we never, you know, had no, it's always been that mutual respect, man. And so with that being said, with that mutual respect, man, I just, like I said, I, I like to bring cats on that I respect and the cats that I feel like, um, the, the listening and watching audience would really dig and appreciate the story and your artistry because that's what I really want to turn people on to who, who are not already on, already up on it, you know. So being that, won't you give people a little bit, bit of your background, man, and, and, and give us, bless us with a little bit of that information. So the history is this, man. You know, we grew up in an era. I was born in 73, the year hip hop officially started when Cool Herb had to party in the Bronx or whatever the case may be. I was born six months before that, you know. And so we literally grew up with hip hop. And so yeah. I, I didn't write my first rhyme, actually. I, I used to memorize rhymes when I heard them, but I didn't write my first rhyme, actually, until like fifth grade. My dad was the uh, coach at the uh, church league team. And, uh, you know, you know, black folks parents be late picking them up for practice. So we sitting out there one day and um, cats just start rhyming and beatboxing. So, you know, the whole thing is my, my mom and dad, uh, no, my dad would take me to the boogies or flip side in Kalamazoo mm -hmm. uh, to pick up a, a couple records if I got a perfect score on my spelling test, mm -hmm. which, of course, I did. And so I would go and I memorized the rhyme. So we had to practice the one time and uh, cats you know, beatboxing, rhyming. So I kick a rhyme. It was a Houdini rhyme, but nobody knew that at the time because it was like, yo, that was sweet. You did that? And I'm looking around and I'm like, yeah, that's me. Except the one cat. I told you who. Chris McFadden. Yeah. He was like, man, I think I heard that. I don't know where, I don't know who, but if you told sweet, mm -hmm. then kick a rhyme into next practice. This was on Tuesday. So mm -hmm. I had till Thursday to come with a rhyme after practice. So that's how I went, man. I went home and wrote my first rhyme that night and practiced it all day the next day at school. Uh, then the next day, the next day at school, then after practice, he was like, I thought you was going, and before he could finish the sentence, I kicked my first rhyme. Now, it wasn't sweet as the Houdini one, but I had put a couple of their names in it and stuff like that. And Cats was like, yo, that's dope, that's dope. And ever since then, it never turned back. Been rhyming ever since, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been on. Uh... Man, I, I, you know, that story, man, it's just, I think a lot of us could share that, though, you know, whether it be in the lunchroom or whatever it was, it all really started from cats, like, challenging, you know, and, and, and that just made you come up with, you know, come up with something, something that was hard, you know. Uh, no, nah, man, I, I, I remember, though, us meeting and, uh, you know, I hadn't really, I was still, we were still hooping, I was still hooping anyway, right? So I don't think I had, I probably was just, 
just picking up the pen, man. So like you just bringing back memories for me. So it's really crazy. But I want to also talk about the story, man. Like, uh, let's talk about, so, you know, obviously we grew up together, but you moved to NY. And so when you moved to NY, you've been to NY how long now? 10 years. 10 years. So you got a lot of experiences out there, man, right there in the Mecca that I want to touch on too, man. Some collaborations you've done, um, some of the people that you, you've rubbed shoulders with, and then some of you, obviously a lot of your work, man. So you want to talk about that? Well, first of all, let's go back. So uh, what prompted the move, first of all, and then kind of break it down from there? Well, um, I love Kalamazoo. After I graduated from Michigan State, um, I taught in Detroit for a year, then I moved back, and I was teaching in the zoo for like nine, ten years, coaching girls basketball, boys basketball, track. You know, I love the zoo. But it, it, it got to a point when I had my, uh, I think it was my 20 year reunion. I was like, wow. And I was like, yo. If I don't leave now, it's now or never because I had just finished my master's and, you know, I'm about to get a, uh, offered assistant principal jobs and stuff like this and stuff, you know, and I'm like, I'm going to buy a house and I ain't going to, it's now or never. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yo, I'm going to go try it. I'm going to do it. I can always come back. And so that's really what it was. And, and, and plus, just because New York is where hip hop started. I mean, when we watched Crush Groove and Beach Street and Wild Style, you know, it was here. And I was like, oh, that's happening in one city. And not just that, just like when I read books like Tales of the Fourth Grade, nothing. Or, or you know, I'm watching TV shows, Who's the Boss? And, you know, like, uh, you know, the, 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 um, uh, the world moved to different strokes and all of this, you know, all of this is one city. Oh, but, uh, welcome back, Cotter. I'm looking at trains and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what is this? I got to be a part of it. So I just, and I had came my first time um, in 99. Uh, I stayed with Mish. We was out here for like three weeks. Me, Mish, uh, uh, well, Mish lived here, but me, Act, and Tone drove out here and stayed okay. for like two, two, three weeks. That was my first time here. And I, I felt like I fit in. So then after that, between then and that move, I had came out here mm -hmm. eight, nine times, just on, you know, what, what that was business, personal, drive by myself, whatever. And I just felt like I had to do it and I fit in. So, yeah, I've been here 10 years, uh, then lived in Brooklyn, Harlem, um, taught in Brooklyn, taught in the Bronx. Basically a New Yorker, man. You're basically a New Yorker. You know, that's really uh, what you have now, bro. Yeah, it's always going to be, it's always going to be, K Zoo to the fullest, right? It's always gonna be Mr. But like I said, you got a car, you got you got a pass now to cause you mingle with so many people. Like you got, you know, you pretty much you know that you know the pulse of the city, you know the culture. And I think you have to be somewhere at least 10 years to, to get that though. You know? And that's true. And they give me that and they say that, but mm -hmm. um and, and, and then too, I'm gonna I'm tell you, I'm gonna take it back to this because they always misconstrue it because. You know, I'm rocking state gear or I'm rocking Pistons, Tigers, Lions gear. So they, uh, you, you from Detroit? And some people call me Detroit. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm from Kalamazoo, yo. Yeah. And, you know, I, I rocked up with them teams, but I'm I'm Kalamazoo. So, okay. you know, but no, I got a lot of connections, man. Some like, like people I consider family from the first year I met here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, uh, girls, family, they, they good people to me, um, people uptown, the people I used to work with. I stay in touch with some of them at each of the spots I've been at and everything. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got mad connections here, and like I can roll up anytime, man. It feel good, and and but the one thing, the one thing too, the, the one thing that prompted to move on to challenge myself, and so uh, it, it, you can say uh, I could say, oh yeah, I'm the man, I'm the king of Kazu or something or this or whatever, and feel that in my heart and soul. But like these cats who who like I got students who. Uh, they parents uh, was in uh, Rock Hymns. Uh, Rock. Uh, 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 I can't. I can't remember which video. Uh, <laughs> but I got parent uh, students whose parents was like in videos like that. So these people, they know hip hop out here. So if you can rock a crowd or stage out here mm -hmm. and get off and and keep and pack, cats is giving you that, then you then did something. Mm -hmm. Like it, it feel like validation. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the things because you know when I first moved out here, within a year, I put a live band together. A DJ, we was doing shows, and I was getting in Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, Manhattan. You can make a song about it, but it was I ain't just making a song about it. It was what I was living, what I was doing before this pandemic, and, and it still is. That's the testing grounds, man. Testing grounds when you out there. Uh, I wanted to step back just for a minute, man, because I, you know, I kind of uh, <clears throat> I kind of passed this, but this is very important for everybody who's checking this this uh, video out. 
bro, you uh, obviously you have a background in teaching, but you appeared in the source, <laughs> you know, and, and yeah. us growing up, that's the source was the like the hip hop Bible, right? Just the, yeah. So talk about that experience and how it came about. OK, two things. Mm. First, I'm gonna go back to the connections you said, and then I'm gonna talk about how that source experience came. Okay. This is how crazy it is, just like living in New York. You're talking about connections, right? Mm. I'm working at this school for three years, bro. Mm. Three years. And it's a uh because cause it's it's like here, when you think of a school, you think of one uh well in, at the crib, when you think of a school, you think of one building. Yeah. But here, a school is like might be a floor of a building. <laughs> you, you, you see what I'm saying? Right. So we in like a five floor building and it's a middle school, high school and elementary school all in the same building. But, you know, all with separate principals, secretary, staff, everything. Right. But all in it. So anyway, it's a cat. You know, I was seeing him in the lounge. He the art teacher for the high school. Mm. Always said, what's up? Boom, boom, boom. And talk to him. Cool. The second or third year, I dropped this little thing called Black Every Month over a nano beat. It's like a little minute thing instead of just Black Every Month, Black Every Month, right? right. And I sent it to the whole staff like, yo, you might be able to use this with your uh, students as something positive, you know, boom, boom, boom. So I see him about two, three days, two, three days later in the lounge. And he was like, yo, I know you mind like that. He's like, I'm in the hip hop. He's like, you, you know the source? I was like, yeah. He was like, you know the, uh, the last word? The cartoon? I was like, yeah. He's like, that's me. I drew that. <laughs> Word. Like, I've been working with this cat three years and I ain't know. So you're talking about the connections and just like, yeah. it's everywhere. Like, this is the cat. You know the last word. You're talking about the source? You know yeah. what I'm talking about. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Everybody. This, my, this my guy. And that was this, him doing the illustrations. Yeah, that's my guy. Wow. I hit him up right now. But anyway, so how, how my whole source thing came about was that hip hop class that I had at South or uh, Maple Street. Mm -hmm. um, so I had the hip hop class uh, my second year teaching at the school. Right. So this is my third year teaching. And um, it was just elective. And um, so, you know, people got wind of it. Next thing you know, the uh, Kalamazoo Gazette came did an article about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, I'm thinking, you know, okay, that's cool, blah, blah, blah. The next thing you know, uh, Channel 3 News wanted to come in and do a, a live segment of it. So I'm like, okay, all right, cool. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, that's the end of this little run. You know, I ain't thinking nothing of it. This is just what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so finally, um, well, not finally, no, then uh, Michigan State Alumni Magazine hit me up. They did a search and they, oh, they want to do it and put it on the, uh, in the MSU Alumni Magazine. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad. Let's do it. Yeah. And so uh, I'm thinking, really, that's it. And then finally, the, the uh, Elizabeth, I forget her last name, but who did the article, the Gazette article on me, she called me and was like, yo, I just got a call from the source. Uh, they want to um, they, they wanna know if it's OK if we can, uh, if they can do an article on you. I was like, let me think about it. And I put the phone. <laughs> I'm like, hello. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Why don't so, you already you know, tell them? Yeah, right. Why don't you already? Yeah, so, so we. <laughs> We did that, and uh, me and her just did a, um, the 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 uh, chick who did it. Uh, she lived in Atlanta, but we just did a phone interview, and then they sent a photographer uh, to do a photo shoot, and we did it at Kalamazoo Central. Okay. We did the photo shoot at Kalamazoo Central. Um, me and her did a phone interview, so the, uh, everything was good and ready to go. And then that was right before I went to Tokyo uh, with the crew, with the Urbanites and all of that. And so when I came back. Uh, no, actually, yeah, when I came back, um, it was in that next issue and all of that. So, but the real impetus for that, 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 that hip hop class even starting was like my first year there, mm -hmm. they just gave me as my elective math uh, study hall. But I seen everybody else had whatever their interest was. Like the one cat was a volunteer fire, the social studies teacher, Mr. Mm -hmm. Fry, he was a volunteer firefighter in the summer. So his, his elective was firefighting. The, the mm -hmm. one lady, she, she sold clips and had origami. That was her uh, thing. So I said, so at the end of my first year at the building, I was like, I don't want a math study war. They was like, well, what do you want? I said, I want a hip hop class. And so they let me do it. And it was the, the business. The how-to, I brought in MCs, DJs, break dancers, graffiti cats. Uh, the school funded me, sent me to uh, Detroit a couple years to um, take a class, learn Pro Tools, 
uh, brought, uh, t- uh, uh, I had, uh, what, three turntable stations. So I had six turntables, three mixers. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was real. It's, it's crazy how far hip hop will take you. And then also, man, like I wanted to bring up that some of your students, well, all your students, you were, you were a mentor to all your students. I bet your class was like the most popular class in school, right? And But I personally know uh, a couple guys that was up under you that was learned, that was in your class, and now they're going on to doing something with the music. So it's just like playing it forward and you just had this mentor, it's just like you had this mentor role, right? So, uh, yeah. um, I just dropped the track with one of my former students early in the morning. Mm. We just yeah. dropped the track. Shout out to early in the morning. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna disclose the name of the track and all of this. You know, you know, people get, you know, yeah, and, we, ain't and, uh, it, we ain't gonna lick it on here, but they, they gonna hear about it. Mm-hmm. It, we, yeah, we dropped the joint. Um, so, yeah, and that's one of my former students. So that, like, that just felt good that he reached out. I got another kid, uh, uh, B Godly, that dropped beats. Uh, he, he uh, B Godly, mm-hmm. I got you. I'm, I'm dropping that soon. Shout um, out, shout out. He, he said, you know, he he sent me beats. You know what I'm saying? Former students, if they still rock with you this many years later, so you vibing with. Our generation plus this generation still want to rock with you. Come on, man. You can't. It can't. It don't get no better than that, man. It don't. And, and I just think about all the 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 people and and students and people that got influenced, probably even unknowingly, from what you were doing. Because when I saw you <laughs> in the source, I didn't know about it, man. It just blew my wig. I was like, wow, my man. And because we and you hadn't, you know, we we were still running around together, but. I don't think I had seen you for a minute and I saw that and I was like, my man, <laughs> you know? So yeah. that was major, man. And it still is major because again, you know, this is a, the source is, is, is pretty much the, it's pretty much the pinnacle. You know, for it, 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 I'm going to tell you how crazy it, it, it felt to me. Cause I like, I just was like, okay, whatever. I wasn't thinking of nothing, but like when I was on my way to the airport, my oldest niece who was like grown now, but like, she was like, I Cause we seen the article, but then she was like, I didn't know using the table of contents. So it was in the table of contents too, like my picture or whatever, you know, like I was like, Oh, but, you know, I was like, Oh, dope. But like, I ain't thinking much of it, but they was taking me to the airport. I was going to Atlanta and Trip was picking me up from the airport and I stayed with him for that week. And so this one, it really resonated with me that like it meant something because here's Trip who been on tour with Too Short and Bree. Mm-hmm. And, and, and and pop and got pictures with all of them cats. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, and when we was riding around, he was like, yo, this my man Solo. He in the latest issue of the source. And I'm like, yo, chill, chill. You know, I ain't, I'm just like, it ain't nothing, but like he making a big deal of it. And yeah. this is a cat who done did way more in the game than I had did, at the, you know, time. So I'm like, yo, okay, yeah. it must be something. If yeah. he proud of it like that. And so like, yeah, I was, I was, you know, I was a little humbled by that. Yeah, it's funny, man. I know we could, between you and I and the cats we know and the, and the things we've done, uh, but Kalamazoo to be such a small city, the talent is is, is crazy. And, and some of the accomplishments and things that all of us have seen collectively and done, it's just, man, it's, it's crazy, right? We're talking about a city of probably less than 100,000 people, maybe 100,000 people. Well, all You're talking about the city proper. All the talent that's come out of this area um, that's, that's influenced the world. So people know about the Derek Jeters and the Greg Jennings and all that, but some of the talent that's come out of that area is just, uh, just amazing. I'm just going to say that. So y'all do the knowledge on that, right? Y'all do the knowledge. Yeah, no. But so so well, so now that you're in NY, we're going to place you back in NY. Let's talk about some of the cast that you've um done music with, collab with, rub shoulders with, because I know a few of them, but I'm sure I, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up your story. So I, we want to hear from you. You talk about the, the experience of being in NY, making those connections and, and uh, just that whole story, man. I want to hear it. Man. So uh, my favorite story is, uh, it was, uh, uh, you know, Tony Touch. Yeah, Tony Touch. D- Tony D- Touch DJ. Tony Toka. 
Tony Toka, right? So he had Toka Tuesdays at this bar, and my girl lived right in that neighborhood, like right there on Tuesday. So like that's the thing. And, 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 oh, and her cousin was a bar. I mean, uh, the bouncer right at the door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, we ain't got to pay the entry fee. We know the bartender. It's good. It's good. We getting love. So we there all the time. So my favorite story of all that one is we drive back from Michigan one day. That's a 10, 11 hour drive. And like, I'm getting a little pissed because I call her jukebox. She know like everything, rock country, you know, top 40, hip hop, R&B, everything I know she, she, she can sing to. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna find something she ain't got on my, on my shit. I put on that Prince Paul, Prince Among Thieves. Ooh, okay. You know, that's a story. That's a movie. That's a move. You got to listen. You can't listen out of order. You can't put that on shuffle. You got to listen to that. So she listened to that. She ain't heard it. And she grew up. She like, oh, OK, OK. And then this this the last little stretch coming in from Jersey, crossing the bridge over to the crib. So like this last stretch. Keeping it check. Now, we on spring break. She listened to that. She like, that's dope. I was like, well, shit, you know, it's a Tuesday night. We ain't got to work tomorrow. Topa Tuesday. So we ain't even go to her crib, my crib, or nothing. We pull up right in Topa Tuesday and park and go in. When we walk in, who is the guest DJ, J.E.? I have no idea. Give me the Prince name. Paul. Prince, Prince Paul. Paul. <laughs> he's the guest DJ. We just got through listening to that. Uh, I can't make this up, yo. Uh, he, he's the guest DJ, so he get through doing his set. He get through, and it's a small little bar, boom, 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 you know, so when he get through, I tell him the same whole story I just told you. And uh, I was like, it's unbelievable. And, you know, girls right there, boom, 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 boom. I tweet about it. He retweeted it like five minutes later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's great. And I ain't really on Twitter. I was trying to test it out back then, but like, yeah, I, I got an active account, but I don't use it. But like, so yeah. that's one of my favorite. But like, just that, like, experience, like, I'm listening to you riding in from a 12-hour trip. Uh, yeah. And then I just run into you. But like at that same spot, man, I used to see Sadat X all the time or yeah. talk to him. I, I got his cell number right here. I, you know, text him. Um, uh, cool her. I didn't talk to him a couple of times. And then I, 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 I at that spot, but then I ran into him out of Cortona Park way in the Bronx. because This was on the Lower East Side in Manhattan. I ran into him in Cortona Park and um, he recognized me because he came and sat and talked to this girl that was right, like, right next to me. And my I was like four or five of my homies. And he light up and was like, yo, yo, homie from uh, down Lord East, yo, pass it to me. I'm like, what? Like, so it's just random stuff like that. Yeah. It's 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 love, man. It's love. I, you know, um, my times of being in New York, man, it's it's they kind of treat you like if they rock with you, they treat you like their, their own, man. I, most of the time I spent when I was out there, I was in Queens. And so I got a couple of homies, good homies out there, man. And they really, they really good people in NY, man. Really, really. Um, so I want to also talk about the dude, the collab. And well, I know he collabed on your joint, the Raz Cash joint, right? Yeah. Okay. So I, I just had to put it out there because it's, it's blazing. You know, it's blazing. Uh, yeah. it, 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 it's, it's coming to the public real soon. I'm going to ask him, ask him, when is it coming? <laughs> you know, because it's blazing. It's coming within before the fourth of July, uh, and I'm a, and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Um, Tone just sent me um, a Tone mix of it. Ozier. yeah, Tone Ozier. He did, yeah, you know, he he mixed it for me. So uh, he just sent me a mix of it. Like he had sent me a mix before, but it was something little. And then I sent it back, and then uh, I, he sent it back, and then he, so he just sent me a mix. Everything is good now. That's coming out. Um, the thing is, I was I was talking to Raz like a month ago, trying to get him out here so we could do a, a visual. But I think I might have to do one of the animated video uh, visuals for it or something. But yeah. it's been sitting, and you're right, it's blazing, and it, it need to come out. And so, you know, shout out to my man Kurt Patchwork. If you ever in Atlanta, stop at Patchwork Studios, spelled with an E, not an O. Mm -hmm. um, I recorded my second project there, um, bringing '88 back. Um, Tone flew in, Jack the Mac flew in. We stayed all stayed at Trips Crib. Um, uh, yeah, and, and that's what we did. We dropped that down there, but um, Patchwork is where it's at. Okay, I, I want to know because you mentioned your second project. Your first project was really impressive too. 
Uh, was Ned Nano on the boards for the whole thing, or what, what, how did that? How did the first project come about? Because we're talking right now, the urbanites had just kind of, urbanites are kind of trying to chill at that point, but then you dropped your first one, brainstorm, right? Yeah. Um. So that that's that's probably like a collection of work for my whole life because that was the first like official project I did. I had dropped little stuff here and there, but like that's the first official thing I did. Mm. Um. Yeah, uh, that's when I had bought the, uh, you know, the uh, the Trinity and all of that. I had an NPC and turn uh, techniques and all of that. And, you know, we would just come over and catch would create and make mad beats. And I would just store the beats and have them and I'll pick some and, you know, other cats would use them. So then I started putting brainstorm together officially. And then uh, because of my work with my hip hop class and the source article, all of that, mm-hmm. I put a, 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 a grant request together through the Arts Council of Kalamazoo. Mm-hmm. And uh, they end up giving me the maximum amount. It's called the Emerging Artist Grant. Okay. Uh, any anybody, any you Kalamazoo artists, check it out. Emerging Artist Grant. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. there for you. You just got to put it together proper proposal. So uh, they gave me the maximum amount. So at the time, Tone was living in LA. Okay. And he was working in a studio on Melrose Avenue, Silent Sounds, right above a, a flower shop. Yo, I'll never forget it. And so they was charging us off hours. So I was paying 25 an hour. And That's I, 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 yeah, in, in LA. And so I can I can say, okay, recorded in Kalamazoo, Michigan or recorded in LA, you know, cause people was like, well, why are you flying out there? Cause by the time, yes, you can cheap studio time, but by the time you fly out there with the, uh, you know, plane ticket and all that, you could have just recorded here. I say, yeah, but I'm not gonna have my boy engineering and recording it, you know, who know, then rock with me in Tokyo and know what sound I want. I'm going to have somebody I'm just paying and it's not going to feel that same. And me and Tone, we, every time I went, my, my studio time was midnight to 8 a.m. I wasn't hanging out trying to see the tourist stuff in L.A. I was working, yo. I was working. Yo, midnight Let's be, to real. Eight. Let's be and, real. The vibe in L.A., the mountains, um, the, the weather, the beaches, like just the vibe. Like we got a certain vibe anywhere you go and there's certain energy. You know, New York has this energy, but LA has a totally different energy. So I, 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 I know you. I know your energy was on ten being out there, right? It was. I mean, because I could see the stuff for a little bit in the day, but like I said, I wasn't. I mean, because like he lived like right in Hollywood. He lived in Hollywood, so like we we would see the sign going to his crib and all of that. But like I said, if we in the studio midnight to eight, that means like when we leave at eight a.m., we might stop and get something to eat. You know, boom, boom, boom. Then we go into the crib, you know, you know, and then we're going to listen to what we did and see what we got to do for the next night. And, mm-hmm. you know, a mm, little something to eat, <laughs> fall right. asleep. Right, yeah. right. And that's how it should be. When you out there working, you working, man. And, and uh, that's the difference, man. And that's that's why it came out like it did, right? Um, yeah, it was. It was so good, man. Just, you know, like I said, uh, with the homie doing it, you know, I wish uh, Mike could have been there. He didn't make the trip to Atlanta when I did uh, at Patchwork, when I did to uh, Bring 88 about, but Tone was there again. So it's like a common thread. Mike has got the beat. Uh, Tone might got one or two. Diane might got one or two. Somebody else might got one or two. But Tone is there engineering. And he know how I want to hear it. And it's going to all mesh. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. Man, it's, it's, that's that that's gumbo. You got that gumbo. You got Ozier. Nano and then dynamite. That's that gumbo, man. That's that noir, you know. Uh, so we, we can't go wrong. We, we, yo, we spoil. You. We spoil. You. Yeah, no. <laughs> you got we talk about that all the time. We talk about that all the time. But oh, but uh, oh, zero though. Uh, tone, I need a, I need a track. So <laughs> yeah, little tone, we need a track. So but listen, so, yeah. I, I wanted to touch on a couple of things. Yeah. I heard. Uh, uh, you was talking about my hip hop class, right? Yeah. And it's techniques I still put myself through that I, I want other MCs to put themselves through just to, you know, and I'm just going to shout out like maybe one or two. Floor is yours. So, like, I do crossword puzzles. Mm-hmm. They're a wealth of knowledge. They're a wealth of knowledge, man. And when, when I started way back in college, you know, I I used to use this crossword dictionary to help me out. And people was like, oh, that's cheap. No, it's not cheap. It's learning because five or 10 years later, I'm not going to need that. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to know, you know. So now you don't even need a crossword dictionary because they got them online. You know, you can type in a clue and it'll 
come up, you know, but like after a while you just start figuring out, but it just make you look at words in a different way and everything. Mm-hmm. And so one example I got is oh, yes. like I was, I was, I was doing this crossword puzzle and these is the words they call it roundabouts. Mm-hmm. So like it was four different clues, but they can link back to each other. So here, here, here's the words, house wine, wine glass, glassware, and then warehouse. So remember, the first word was house wine. Mm-hmm. So it, 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 they all connect. House wine, wine glass, glassware, warehouse. But then you can go back to house wine again because mm-hmm. the house and it connects. Mm-hmm. So I put this out to a couple groups I was in uh, of friends. You know, I'm like, yo, let's create, uh, try to create some of them. Because when you challenge it, put yourself to a challenge like that, now you're looking at words in a different way and you're being more concise and efficient with how you're doing it instead of just mumbling or rhyming on the mic, just making words rhyme. Mm-hmm. You can make words rhyme. We learn how to do that when we learn to start ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But now can you add layers and texture to it where it's like, oh, okay. So now, not, like, I'm not saying I'm, I, I, I use that when I'm rhyming, but I'm just saying just in putting words together like that and looking at it, it makes you think of it. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm going to give you one more. Word play. Play area. Area code. Code word. But the first one was word. I'm going to send it to you on a text in a, in a, in a format so you can see yeah. it. So you just, they all. I'm picturing, it, though. I'm picturing that. I'm picturing and, and, that. You know. And it loops. Mm. And so I put myself to challenge myself to the exercise. For instance, like there's certain groups that maybe we have written songs and we'll say, yo, we're going to get back together and uh, come with our verses or something. Right. Mm -hmm. And so then sometimes you might put a challenge out like, Hey, no, let's get on the phone live and let's just drop a song that way. We tried, we did it that way before and it was successful, but let's try it another way. Just different strategies, different techniques is always how you elevate the game is like you're saying. Right. No, man. And that's one thing I really appreciate about, appreciate that about you and you brought that to my attention some time ago. And I think the more I implement it, the higher, the higher my ability becomes. I, I'm also somebody who believes in pro- crossword puzzles. So when I used to catch the train back and forth to see my family, um, you know, I used to catch the train from home to like Flint, Detroit, all over. But when you're on that train at two and a half hours, you need something to do. So instead of listening to music, I'd have this, I'd be working on a crossword. I learned that just from my mom, right? So I, just crossword, just, and it builds your, it not only builds your vocabulary, but it expands your mind. Like you said, so now you're seeing words in a different way. They're connecting different. Um, you even, probably even learning, because I know I even learned some new words. But just that exercise, and, and that's why I appreciate you, about you, because every time we work, you're always bringing something new to the table to, keep the juices flowing to keep and and to be honest and i've told you this privately you're one of the mcs right now that's inspiring me because you tend to get can place it if you're building by yourself it all when you're building with another sharp blade it's just you have no choice but to elevate what you're doing it elevates your art so i think in a lot of ways these last couple years especially just just building with you and chopping up with you man has really elevated my art i can't say that man so I thank you for that. No, I appreciate it. And likewise, because, uh, you know, these conversations that we had, like, you know, like this is just like, like I said, uh, just this record. It's the same thing. We have multiple conversations that yeah. last this long all the time. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. it just, and, and like when I, when I got off the phone with Tone, I talked to Tone about an hour and a half earlier. Uh, mm-hmm. And then I talked to Mike after that, you know. And then I, I just was like, but when, when I get off the phone with you, Cash, I'm inspired to do something. Yeah. I'm motivated. You know what I'm saying? Cause, yeah. Cause like, you know, you know, you know, we you know, you know, you know, and stuff like that. Then I hear your first line just like yet and stuff. I'm like, oh man, I gotta come with some, yo. He you killed this. Yo, no, no, person. no. If, if people <laughs> only knew, if people only knew what's coming down the line, man, it's just, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it at that, right? But you know, um, I've just I just want to say, man, I said this again, I said this privately, but it's always important to see the growth. And I've seen, I've been fortunate enough to witness your growth firsthand, man, with what, and I just, like I said, you just, 
what right now, man, is it, between the mixtapes you you doing you're doing, uh, just some of the just some of the the, the joints and, and and you putting together and how you challenging yourself. For me, as a fellow uh, old head, I guess you could say in this game, man, it just it just re revigorates me. So I'm like, there's still more. There's still more to learn. There's still more climbing to do. There's still more rhyme patterns out there. There's still more, you know, and that's important, man, because I will admit, you if you don't have that, you kind of plateau. If you don't have that challenge, you know, and it's, and it's almost like I said, I, I need that challenge to, it, it's one thing bouncing stuff off the off of the mirror from yourself, but I need that challenge. I need that reflection in, 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 in your energy. You know, I need MCs like you and your energy to be able to continue to elevate, man. It's really important. And like I said, you just broke down some science for these, these MCs out here and, and up and coming rappers, because again, um, you have to keep learning. You never master your, we, we, we always working on our craft. You never master it though, right? You never master uh, No, it, it's, you know, they say 10,000 hours. Uh, yeah make you a, a master or something, but like, you still got to learn. And uh, and that's something that Tony told me today. I was like, yo, but th this technology is changing everything so much. He said, yo, I'm still taking a class. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm taking a production class now. As much as, and, 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 and a lot of us lean to Tony and ask him questions about stuff like this, but he's still taking a class. Yeah. And so that just go to the whole thing. Like, like you know, doctors got to stay current. Uh, lawyers got to stay current and do take it. classes and with their certification it. you got to stay up on it so you still got to just keep doing it and so he's like yeah i'm taking the class right now <laughs> i'm saying you know that's what it is man it just keep you. elevating man you brought up that's a hell of a point doctors lawyers you know all the time going to conventions right and learning the finer points with, with technology you still have to learn the finer points because even with technology technology changes daily and so even with technology, we have to stay up on, you know, the latest, greatest. But if I feel I look at I look at MCs and artists like us as boxers. And, and you have to that's always like that, you know, that shoulder roll or, or, or that 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 the hook, you know, that that check hook or something that you have to you have to keep working at your craft. Man, you got to stay in the gym because when you get out of the gym, then the rust builds up. So and that's and that's that. that and that irks me to the to the fullest. Uh, you know, I run into a cat that be like, "You still rhyming?" I'm like, "What? You ain't like you just did it to try to hit a lick. You ain't doing it because you loved it. Like it ain't in your blood. You don't dream it. You don't wake up and do it. What do you mean? Are you still rhyming? I'm right. gonna do this until I die. This is just it's, it's, it's mean. What do you mean? Are you still rhyming? Hey, right. This wasn't nothing we we did because it was cool or popular or nothing. This is. This is our life. This is our this is this is our livelihood. This is our life. Wake up in the middle of the night at two in the morning just to write one line down if I have to, you know, because <laughs> I don't want to forget that that couple. I don't want to forget that couplet. So I got that's that's what it is. This ain't this ain't nothing that, like you said, you don't just oh well I'm done no more. This is what you got a joint called passion. <laughs> man. So, you're right. So that's what this is, man. This is. This is a passion. This is a, this is DNA. This is DNA. So, so speaking on that, speaking on that, you, yeah. it, 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 you gotta have a passion for it. You feel it. I feel it in your, like right here, right now, right? Mm -hmm. This is what I'm talking about, about techniques, man. You said that about passion. I end, it's only like four, four bars, four bars. I'm gonna talk about like internal rhymes and ongoing rhymes mm -hmm. and, 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 and references. So it says- I'm geeking out on this, by the way. I geek out on this MC, like this, you know, science talk with, with the, I'm geeking out on this, man. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, <laughs> this is real talk. And yeah. I didn't even know names for this shit, but you just do it some, okay, so uh, any anyway, uh, some happen. Um, and this is real shit. Uh, I, I end up in my man's crib and I woke up on his couch and then uh, he got a baseball field across. And so, you know, I woke up and before I came to the house, you know, I had some, you know, some, you know, and, uh, you know all right. Right. So this is the run. I say I wake and bake. Some call me a stoner. I brush my teeth with Corona. Okay. So now that's the multi-syllable rhymes. And that's, you know, it, real talk what I'm happening. 
mm. uh, I brush my teeth with Corona. Mm. Hey, yo, so here, here's the connection rhyme. I'm starting the next one off with the same end rhyme. Hey, yo, I crushed on Rolona and Thelma too. But to tell the truth, Penny for Ev's the boo. <laughs> so I'm still, I'm still on multi-syllables. I done named all, uh, the, the, the three ones uh, on good times. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and tell you the last one and finish up with how, it all, how I try to make everything connect. And I'm gonna tell you why I start doing that. Mm -hmm. I wake and bake, some call me a stoner. I brush my teeth with Corona. Hey yo, I crushed on Valona and Thelma too. But to tell the true penny for Ev's the boo. Mm -hmm. And I really ain't sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Penny Penny was Janet Jackson. Right. And I really ain't sorry, Miss Jackson. You get this reaction because I'm filled with passion. And that's it. You because you said passion. So I just right. so you know, like it, I make it all I try to make it all connect. Yeah, yes. And it makes sense, right? I think that's um uh, that's called that's when you're writing on a on a what's the word? That's a it's almost writing on a linear linear level, you know, because you're it, it all makes sense, and and instead of you're not here, you're not there, you're not coming back over here. It's all making sense, but like it, it's you using you using obviously using entendres, you using a, a re frame of reference, and it all makes sense. Like you said, Miss Jackson, Janet. You know, and people can make you can make that connection, man. And that's that's real rhyming right there. That's real rhyming. That's that's real art. You know, when 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 hip hop started, they they refused to call it anything but art, right? It's this a fact. Is art. This is a but it's an art. It takes time. It takes dedication. It takes skill. It takes wit. So it makes this this is an art like anything else, like painting. Um, or got me whatever you want to whatever you want to compare it to. This is an art, and I want it to be looked upon as that. Like you said, people say, "Oh, you still rap? You still rap?" No, what what I do is actually art. It's art. You know what I mean? This is this ain't play play. This is art, and I really like. I really want people to respect it like that. You yeah you. You got some quotables on uh stuff I've been hearing. <laughs> you got quotables on stuff. I, I say I say one of your lines from uh uh 20 some years ago. <laughs> I don't care if your hair's braided. <laughs> I'm oh, walking man, by man. like you once dated. Plan Yo, <laughs> come on, man. That come on, man. That that's 25, 20, 20, like that. 22 years, 22 years ago, Larry. Yeah, something like yeah, it is. That was what, yeah, that was a while back. Platinum, man. Uh now nah, I can some of this stuff, man. I can't even. I do remember that though. I do remember that line. Like, it doesn't matter if your hair's braided and walk on by like we once dated. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that comes back, man. But it, I'm just appreciative that you know it's really. And I say this all the time. You can have all the accomplishments in the world and all the awards in the world, but you know how did you? How do people remember you? How did you make people feel? And for people to quote some of my work, man, it's gonna last forever. That's gonna outlast me. That's gonna be here for my kids. That's gonna. So you know, it's man. I, I just I'm thankful for that. I, I can for that lot, small moment, man, moment. I was able to touch somebody. And when somebody come up to me and quote some something and say, "I remember you doing this and doing that," man, that's that's why. To me, that's really what keeps keeps things going for me. That's even why I started. I never got into it. I never wanted to be like this, you know, rich, whatever, whatever, man. I mean, the money is good, but it's it's. To me, it's fleeting because, again, it's all about how you make people feel and you touching people every day with your art, man. And like I said, I think respect. That, yeah, that, that's you got to put respect on that, that on that. And that's one of the things I can say that you've done, man. I really like your art. I'm telling you, bro. When when people when people hear some of this stuff, man, they gonna know what I know already. Like, yeah. you know, you want to for real, man. Like, I'm not blowing smoke. You want to sharpest minds, man. And it's doing no, this thing, man. No, that's like, yo, I'm glad we uh getting together what we getting together. Yeah. Um, can we, it's, you it's, go ahead and tell them. You, you probably can go ahead and tell them, man. Uh, you know, it, I think you already kind of put it out there, but, you know, they need to know. We're we working on a collaborative project with Nano. So, you know, it's coming. It's coming. Um, yeah. 
it's, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy yo it's great I, I i was listening to that uh yesterday on my commute to work yeah and i, I know you, you might got a different order but whatever whatever what, however because like i'm just letting everybody know who's listening the process of this has been so uh flawless and fun and professional and yeah. uh collaborative and that's how things should be so yeah. you know I, I i just you know i want to shout out um the cats I've seen in the interviews in the last couple of weeks, um, cause talking about collaborative uh, fusion, I, I, I rolled through his crib a couple of years ago, yo, on a Saturday. I dropped my dad off at dialysis. I rolled through fusion's crib. Boom, I was there about two and a half, three hours, yo. We listened to a few beats, okay. We narrowed it down, we picked one, okay. Boom, we came up with a topic, a hook. Boom, we wrote, we dropped. Boom. And it's done. It's on Distro Kid and everything already. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I, and already. I haven't. I want to check it out. I still haven't heard it, but I remember that session. And shout out to Fusion. He real dope too. And, and y'all need to check him out. He, yeah. You know, and I, it feels good to me, man, to be able to have cats that um, that I came up with and having this platform and, and cats that I respect. And, and I always believe about. I always believe in giving cats their flowers now. And so that that's part of what the platform is for, man. It's not, you know, it's that's what it's for. So uh, with that being said, man, let's talk about let's let's rotate and transition to what you got. What's coming out right now? You got a partner too. I can't remember my man's name out there. Y'all dropped some stuff and it's and it's hot. I can't remember my man's name right now, so I, I'm not gonna butcher that. Um, MDG, Majestic God, my yeah, guy. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Shout out to Majestic. No doubt. Just a guy, stay busy. Uh, check him out. He on he on the social media way more than me. He 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 do more the promotion than I gotta get on his level with that. That's my guy with that. He 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 he's solid with that. Cause you know the game and change with all this internet. But uh we got a song, uh no, no, we got an album coming out called Quintessential Vibes, but we didn't put out three videos from it already. Okay. We put out no, we put out the process, we put out no tomorrow, and we put out love song off of it. And I, I think we're gonna shoot, I think we're gonna shoot one more for it. This joint we got for the summertime, we're gonna shoot one more for that. But yeah, we shot three videos. MDG, that's one project, okay. Um, the CMS project that we're working on, we'll you know, that's thing. coming out. Yeah. I got to bring it. 88 back that even though I recorded it patchwork them years ago, it's, mm -hmm. it's sitting there in the vault, but it's still classics because when I perform it, cats is like, yo, yo. So that's coming out. Um, and don't tell, don't, don't tell nobody, but last year on the 4th of July, I dropped that volume one, a solo a feature presentation where the mixtape joint where I, you know, with all the collabs with all of that. Yeah. And, and, um, <laughs> So I, I'm, my plan is to put volume two out on the 4th of July this year. Mm. The only thing is um, I have about 10 of the 18 tracks done and they're sitting on my hard drive and I've yet to send them to your boy Dynamite, but he's getting them. You're getting them soon. Shout out to Dynamite. <laughs> Shout out to Dynamite. Dynamite. You're getting all 18 soon, buddy. And, uh, like you know, you know, just it, it won't take you long to mix them and get them ready for the fourth. Uh, you know, hopefully or something. I got something for you. I got a, a present for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know he waiting on that. I know he waiting on that. Um, so, OK, so also uh, so you got a lot of stuff coming out, obviously, a lot of stuff that's going to be banging. Um, and I, I can't wait to hear your album. You and Majest. We got three the hard way that's coming out. Um, mm. that you mentioned colors, movements, sensations. It, it's a lot of things that's popping off, man. And again, I just thank you for making the time coming on here and giving us your story. And like I said, it, it, we we definitely covered a lot in what you dropped as far as those techniques. Uh, I, like I said, you put me up on it. So I'm hoping whoever's watching this is, is taking notes because again, this game is all about expanding and, and and, and getting better, man, and, and really working on your craft. And, you know, you one of those cats that's working and working and working. And um, yeah, I don't, it ain't no slowing down, man. It ain't no slowing that's down. It. That's no it, man. Yeah. That's it. Uh, last, last activity for the night. Um, um, you want to improve your multi-syllable game? Just write 
uh, a couple words down and write as many as you can and rhyme with both and then try to make them put together to make sense. For example, mm. and, 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 and hit us in the comments with what you come up with. Yeah, hit us in the comments, most deaf. Please hit us in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna give you two words, baby and seals. Write as many words as you can think of that rhyme with baby, write as many words you can think of that rhyme with seals, and then mix them, match them, and put them together. And now you got a multi-syllable rhyme. Baby seals, uh, gravy meals, uh, 80 mil, you know, whatever. I don't know, but Baby you know, all you gotta do is put, the, you, 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 y'all figure it out. I'm, we, we're not with these Mickey Mouse rhymes, multi-syllable, right. and then put some meaning behind it, yo. Come on, J.E., tell them. Now, you being nice to cats, but let them know, though, man. If cats want it, they can get it, because, oh, yeah. yo, we, yo, 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 no, no, we we MC extraordinaires. Now, I mean, we can be humble about it, but if cats want it, they can get it. <laughs> Y'all can get it. Y'all can get it. You know, I ate, <laughs> I'm the host, so I, I have to hold back a little bit, but you can say it. You can hey, let them yeah, know yeah. what it is. Hey, you let know what it is. Well, you said what you you said what it is. Yo, I love everybody. Yo, uh, early in the morning, early in the morning. Um, patience, schizo. Um, yo, the whole urbanites crew. I ain't even gotta go through that. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kazu, hold it down, my man. Tomorrow, I forgot what he switched his name to, but tomorrow's ill on the mic. Yo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, but you know, uh, Kazu, hold it down. Uh, drum, oh, drum and Jordan, Mr. Burns, rest in rest peace, peace, all rest of that. In peace, rest in peace. Yeah, those brothers, man, I really miss those brothers, man. R really, I really do. Uh, I had close ties with both of them. So anything you want to say wrapping up, I think you already kind of offended half the people that was watching as far as MCs because they need to get their weight up. But anything else you want to say to the people before we, before we slide? Hey, um, just check out the movement. Check out uh, Eternal Might Music. Uh, you know, Charles and Tremble Music. They doing their thing big time over there. Get the gear, get the merchandise, all of that. He rocking the hat right there. I mean, it's real. Um, really? We're going to start doing shows soon. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the whole Urbanite crew, Tony Ozier, Mike Mesh, Prophet out there doing videos every other wow. day, it seemed like. Mm -hmm. Act yeah. been a star since Pat Benatar. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the whole the whole yeah. crew, man. Uh, and, like and, and man. you can get uh all of everything that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Sign solo, S double A N S O L O. Check it on any platform, YouTube, title. Uh, I don't know what you use. Apple, it's too many to keep up with. Just check <laughs> it. But the one you really need to check is ban sign solo bandcap.com. Uh, so Bandcamp.com. That's where you can get all my merch. That's where you can get all my uh, download all my music. Boom, boom, boom. Sign solo. Bandcamp.com. Y'all need to rush over there right now. Cop some gear. Cop some music. Support. Y'all know what it is. All right. This is the business 2.0. I thank Sign Solo again. And, you know, thank y'all for coming back and watching, man. I really appreciate y'all support. Rock with us. Leave questions, comments, subscribe, all of that. Put all in, in the comment section. Please, please uh, rock with us on that. Yeah, I'm going to be looking for that inbox for that uh, that one joint. I need your verse on, though. I, I need the inbox. Hit me, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we going to chop it. We going to chop it up, y'all. But yeah, right I now, <laughs> we out of here, y'all. Thank y'all for joining us. It is what it is. I did. Hey, I'm Jay. Thanks for checking out that last video. And also, we hope you're enjoying the site. To join the CTMG family, head over to charlesandtremble.com. Also, you can check us out at charlesandtremble.bandcamp.com. That's charlesandtremble.bandcamp.com. Over there, you find the latest info and updates on artists, bios, and also purchase the new drip. We appreciate you guys checking us out. We'll see you next time. Thanks.